I know you see so bad world trade for me you be so wonderful <laughs> live life be there I know how we're gonna get there and be so wonderful <laughs> and so for real well, I'm telling you just how I feel. <laughs> so I wake up with members of my nation. It's high time to be. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Stop. 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 No, Casey, you're committing to more. Every situation. <laughs> situation. Situation. <laughs> Every situation. <laughs> All right, so welcome to the <sighs> Vitamin C Podcast, <sighs> Episode 9. Sorry we haven't the uploaded in a while. Episode 9. Yeah, we have an unofficial one. We have an unofficial work. one that's broken because oh, uh, I did it wrong, and I'm a dumb, dumb, bubblegum, big booty ass tit. So, <laughs> so sorry we haven't uploaded in a while. Uh, we've been dealing with 2021's recurring theme of... Uh, the Empire Strikes Back. No, uh, no, uh, there seems to be like a recurring theme with like between all of my friends and family where it's almost like a rut everybody's in, but at the same time, it's like it's like an aftermath of 2020. Absolutely, we're still dealing with the after effects, the COVID situation, all that shit, the COVID and situation. everybody's just in a bad mood. I will bring Sam Puckett into this podcast. <laughs> Sam Puckett is that her name? No, is Puckett? it Puckett? Her, no. Yeah, Puckett's her last name. Look that up. Sam I'm Puckett. Ninety percent sure. I'm pretty sure. sure her name was not Puckett. What's her real? Her character. She's um, uh, Jeanette McCourty. Jeanette McCourty. McCourty. <laughs> Janet McCourty. Bro, um, she's she's like my biggest anime waifu. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't say that seriously. Whoop. Uh, <laughs> what is a sticker? Oh yeah, my RAM came with a fucking sticker. I'm putting it on my laptop. Oh, what's Pucket? It is Pucket. So suck it. <laughs> suck it, Pucket! Oh my god. Bet you she got made fun of like that in high school. Anyway. That's alright. Welcome um, to episode 9. We are, yeah, um... The, we are, um, here to talk about things. <laughs> I also want to see if that comes up in the audio of Cody shoving a piece of what looked like meat in his mouth <laughs> while also Thanks. trying to talk normally. I was doing the Kirk from uh, Star Trek. Yeah, to this make up for the fact that... eating fuck. To make up for the fact that you... Ralph. Whop. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Ralph the Ralph Wop. Ralph Wop. Ralph from Ed and Eddie does the Wop. <laughs> Uh, that's Rolf, not Ralph. You don't want you can Ralph these nuts. <laughs> uh, okay, so I do have some topics. Oh yeah, what's that? Then some news. Whoa! So the bad words tier list—it's on its way. We're stupid. We're lazy, and we have to get to that at another time. Stop saying cuss words, guys. It's inappropriate and violent. <laughs> it's my Christian Minecraft Realms account. Wait, you never seen the video of the kid? Saying, stop saying cuss words, guys. It's inappropriate and violent. No. It's very funny. It sounds funny. Anyways. Uh, so, to break... <laughs> this is the belch cast. The belch cast. Oh, to break nice. in some juices for the brain. Uh, let's talk about the SMPs going around with Minecraft. I don't know anything about this, Cody. You're, this is like your obsession, okay? I don't know anything about this. You always bring this shit up. Today on Know Your Meme. Um, I don't so, care. So, Minecraft SMPs, I don't know what SMP stands for still. But, I could easily look it up, but I haven't within the three weeks. Saucy Minecraft. Mama, saucy Mama Penis. Penis. Saucy mama penis. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Minecraft saucy mama penis coming at you live. Oh, what are we doing with our lives? I don't know. But what about these wonderful SMPs Okay, of yours? so... What the fuck is an SMP? The Kevin? two major ones that I've been seeing are Dream SMP, which had a whole storyline, and then after, they're doing another story block. Kind of like, uh... If you've ever seen... Do you remember McJuggernuggets? I do. The guy, how he put on a whole, like, story block with his channel and shit. Kind of like that, but with a Minecraft server. Um, 
And a lot of cool My dad things... yells and ass fucks me while I videotape. <laughs> what? What? I might have watched a different guy. What are you saying? I might right have watched a different guy. What? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I don't know what site that's on. That was not YouTube, my friend. Whoop. Uh. <laughs> I, every time I burp, I just say "wop." <laughs> oh I God! Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's like an automatic response. But these SMPs are basically popping up, and some of them are more RP and story relative. Like people want to make little, you know, like giant RPs out of them with a uh, YouTuber community. But it's and Minecraft. Other, yeah, but it's it's the same thing as. Do you remember Machinima? You yeah. remember Arby and the Chief, yeah. Rooster Teeth? It's just. It's, it's Minecraft it's, of all things. Minecraft. Well, I you, can't take anything that comes out of Minecraft seriously. Now hold on. Minecraft is known for 2B2T, the oldest anarchy, sir. <laughs> Whoop. Foot MC. <laughs> Foot. Fit MC memes <laughs> in the chat. Oh, God, but oh. no, it um it, it is home to the most cringiest people. And some wholesome people. Most cringiest. Most cringiest. They deserve that. Cody, that, that Cody's up. top ten most cringiest. <laughs> <laughs> the Smolder's number one. We don't talk about the Smolder. Oh boy, we don't talk we about the Smolder. When we get a million subs, we will release... No! The Smolder. I don't care if I'm fucking rich and I have a company. I am not releasing. That will bring smoke. you down. That will burn. That'll bring down I will, your whole. <laughs> I will bring down the company like an RKO. All right. So Dream SMP. Dream SMP, and then you have the Epic SMP, which is the boys, super uh, super mega, and super smegma, super smegma, and smeg Bob. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that was Aaron's quote, actually. Um, now that I think about it, but they they have a bunch of different users. They got like Meat Canyon. They got two men who said the N word at some point, and then they got like they have just a bunch of different people. They got Schlatt. They got uh, Jay Schlatt. Schlatt. Jay Schlatt. Schlatt. Oh my god! Don't like what you're doing with your teeth. Schlatt. Could you stop, you fucking ragamuffin? <laughs> What is a ragamuffin? I don't know. I'll look it up. Continue. But anyways, it's just them all fucking around having fun. And I kind of wish that... Because we had that kind of mentality on uh, on our old server, Altair. Do you remember Altair? I do remember Altair. Oh! What? It's a breed of cat. What? No, it isn't. No. Ragamuffin. Really? Unless it has another definition. Hold on, let me look it up. Really? That's where it comes from? Oh, a person, typically a child, in ragged, dirty clothes. I'm looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> dirty bitch. No, um... Nothing dirty about these clothes is probably my pants. Because these are ones I just kind of threw on. Oh. But, you know, the, the SMPs are very reminiscent of um, classic community Minecraft. It kind of gets my uh, my juice is flowing, if you know what I mean, Tommy. Whop. Stop whopping. Whop. Fuck. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Every time you do that, you got to get up and whop. I don't even know what a... I don't even know how to whop. That's probably for the best. That's not how... You don't, you don't do a whop, Yes, Cody. you do. It's a you dance. You don't perform a whop. It's a dance. It's like a booty shaking. Do you dance. understand what WAP stands for? Wet ass pussy. Yes. Yeah. So how do you? How does one Cody? There tell me a, how you do there it. There was a dance. There was like a song or whatever. Or tell me how you move. do it. Tell me how you the WAP. WAP. Let me stand see a up WAP, and show WAP, me. WAP, 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 WAP. Show me a WAP. You don't remember that? Show me a WAP. I don't know. That's how different. To do it. That's the same thing, is it not? No, I don't think so. Just, that that's older no. than the other one. No. No, that's dumb. You're dumb. No. <laughs> gonna... Stop it. Okay. Whoop. Ugh, fuck. <laughs> Fucking fat. Um. Anyways, I'm just gonna segue over, cause uh, I ran out of uh, 
cars. Cody's a huge fan of SMP shit, and I, I don't I think understand. it's funny. I don't understand it. It's the big goof. That's all it is to me. But, it's um, the big goof. Bless you. Um, so let's talk about the Nintendo Direct that we saw. Um, what a goddamn waste of fucking air. I wasn't huge on it. I wasn't huge on I that was one. Disappointed. I was not. Uh, I'm not gonna a huge be honest. Fan. Just most of the games they, excuse me, showed they just I didn't care. I did not care. I did find interest in the re-release of the old Legend of Zelda game. I was disappointed it was Skyward not. Sword. Yeah, I was disappointed it was not Twilight Princess. But also, I was happy that they released the Joy. Con- they're releasing. Oh the yeah, Joy those Joy Cons are delightful. They look dope. The ones on um, the one is the shield and the other is the sword. I so. might pick those up. I might. I might have to. I might have to pre-order them or something. Be dope. But um, yeah, that's about the only thing. And the characters they picked for Smash, I give no fucks about. Well, see, that's the thing. The only people that would really care Where's about those Crash? characters are people that. Where's Crash? We we have still have time. Where we still have time. We still have Crash? time. Motherfucking Bandicoot. We have time. We have a chance. There's two slots. Two slots. There's two slots. <laughs> One of them will be Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> he just comes out. He's wearing a dress and like <clears throat> look that default lipstick. The look, big we, lip but with... we've all got our runner. We've all got our running men it's for squiggle. Smash Brothers. <laughs> we've all got our Smash Brothers running men. We've got for me Dante from the Devil May Cry series and Crash Bandicoot are my two running men at the moment. For me. <clears throat> Crash Bandicoot and acceptable if they put Spyro, but it's highly unlikely. Spyro is less likely than Crash. Crash has a more, a much better shot. Sly Cooper would be sick. Oh my god! Could you imagine if he emerged out of nowhere just to be in Smash Brothers? Well, they failed on the movie, so why not? But I don't even know if they were actually going to make a movie. I think that was just an animation that someone made. No. I highly doubt it. They've released trailers and stuff like that, and then the movies tank. And they can make that like a Netflix series. Ew. I can see it being like an episodic kind of thing on oh, Netflix. Oh, speaking of Netflix, <clears throat> you know what I watched recently? I actually binged it in like three days. What's that? The Umbrella Academy. Oh, yeah, you were talking about this. That's some fucked up shit. That's some fucked up shit. You want to talk about children going through hell? Oh, my God. That was a fucking crazy series. I thought it was going to be lame. And I really didn't care about it when I first heard about it because a lot of mainstream, like, Netflix originals and stuff like that, yeah. I just don't give a shit about. But I kept seeing uh, the character, the character's name is Five. I kept seeing his little cheeky ass all over YouTube, like clips of him being an asshole, and it was hilarious. So I said, you know what? Fine. Fine. I'll go and watch your damn show. And... I fell into it like a goddamn bear trap, and now it has a season three coming out. So. Well, I recently on Netflix binged the entirety of Breaking Bad. You did, you did, and El Camino. And I watched and El Camino. You're on- I'm currently Netflix. on Better Call Saul at the moment. Uh, very good, very nice. I it's, still it's a show seen that it. I missed out on. I still um, haven't seen El Camino. That's the only one I have. Good. Seen. It's a good movie. I think I lost touch with Better Call Saul, so I didn't see the entire thing. Better Call Saul is a slow start. Like, it's a very it does. slow it start. Does. Yeah. It, it's a lot slower because he, he's starting from nothing to something. Yes, it's a very, like, I'm. it's still slow even where I'm at. I'm in season two right now. Yeah. Even season two is still slow. I and think, I'm like, how many seasons are there? Four. I want to say there's four seasons of Better Call Saul. Three, I think three is where it starts to pick up. But Better Call Saul is less action and more... Which is fine, I guess. It's just when you come from Breaking Bad, which was like balls to the wall, like crazy shit. Mm -hmm. But I think people say, I think people say Better Call Saul was better. A lot of people are saying that. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of people saying that. They're like, I love Better Call Saul. There's probably more planned out for Better Call Saul now that they have a story structured around. Around our boy, Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy McGill. Jimmy McGill. Did you get to the scene? Now, I don't know if it's a spoiler. I doubt it is because it was definitely earlier. Where his brother warning: this may or may not be a spoiler. Spoiler. Um. So, uh, where his brother turns out to be a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. That 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 part blew my fucking mind. This when he starts saying like, "You're not, 
You're not a He finally has lawyer. this. You're not a lawyer. You you'll never you'll never be a lawyer like that kind yeah, of shit. Yeah, and he's he, just sitting he, there. He literally he he comes over to his house. He's try he was actually turning his life around, trying to be good, doing a lot of stuff, and he's actually like busting his ass. Yeah, he's and trying his to be brother, a lawyer. His brother's this little fucking brat. Out yeah, of he's nowhere. Like, like, like I worked my ass had, off to get where I am and you can't yeah. just slip in here and be a good lawyer. Yeah. He 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 was playing like nice big brother, nice older brother who's giving his little brother a chance. And now that his little brother's actually showing results, he's pissy. He's in a pissy mood, so he just fucks over his brother. It was really fucked up. It came out of nowhere, too. Yeah, no, it blew my fucking mind when I saw that. Like, the the whole time, it's like, oh, Chuck is such a nice big brother. He's such a supportive big brother. Yeah, he was like, okay, he actually wants his brother to do well. And then, nope, he's just a scumbag. out of nowhere, it's just like, he's an absolute fucking scuzzball. So. Yeah, it's an interesting show, though. I think that, uh, at the end of that is where I stopped watching Better Call Saul. I, um... I By missed... the way, spoilers are over. Yeah, yeah. Right. I yeah. missed Mike from Breaking Bad. Like, I missed him. Missed seeing him. Mike. Mike, yeah. Yeah, you do see him here and there, you see but him not a lot. A lot. Saw... Not a lot. At least in, in the first season Breaking he did. Bad. You see him pretty good. Was it Breaking Bad? Well, he was shown in Breaking Bad. He was shown, but he really comes out and saw. Yeah. And, and I is, love which it. Which is nice, because I like Mike. Do you know what happens to Mike? In Breaking Bad? No, in Saw. I mean, I know why he's like in... This might be spoiler time again. Warning! This might spoiler. be spoiler time. Spoiler time. Um, I know that he's like... I know why he's in Albuquerque or New Mexico or wherever in New Mexico they are. Yeah. I know he's there. I know why he's there. No. Due to those It's not what I was events. talking about. I think it was Better Call Saul. Something happens. I'm not going to spoil it for you because it, it sounds like you're not there. We'll see. But, but yeah, no, it, it's, it really makes you feel for the characters. I teared up and stuff and certain parts and all that. Uh-huh. So. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> <clears throat> off of the spoilers, by the way. We yeah, are, we we're should done be talking off the about shows. And this isn't spoiler. like episode but one also, of the podcast either. This but is also, a... if you fucking like, honestly, if you haven't seen Better Call Saul and and all that by now, it's kind of your fault. I have like, I have like a a year limit on certain things where like it's not even a spoiler. You're just you're just lazy. Uh huh. So, um, uh, well, what else is on that little notepad of yours? Little notepad. Uh, it's just like a thing on my phone. Uh, let me just get the fucking. Let me just clear it up here. Talk to the audience. All right. Um, so today we um were on a little adventure. Oh yeah, yeah. We yeah. um went to go get our PO box keys. We went. We took our um we took our paperwork and all, and we found out that we needed two forms of ID, which we not neither of us have. So we said fuck, and then we left, and it was around closing time for the post office, so we couldn't yeah. go back. And then I was like, well, I have Joy-Cons that are drifting like a motherfucker right now, so I should go get some Joy-Cons. So we go yeah. to a GameStop, that's not open. We go to Walmart, there's like no one around to help us. We go to Best Buy. They are out completely. They are completely out, and then and I the, was like, the okay. The kicker is, is when we left, GameStop opened. <laughs> yeah, so Halfway we, just decided, home. we just decided to not... Uh, not even fuck Not with bother. It. And we just, just came back and recorded the podcast. You know what we came out of there with? We came out of there with thermal paste for Cody's computer. Which is great because now I can uh, actually boot up my computer again. That's nice. And put the new CPU in. Um, good, good. But. Uh, so, <laughs> When's your graphics card supposed to get here? By the end of the month. So uh. I pray it's no more delays because I really want to be able to game and do shit and stream well. Which maybe, maybe now with the CPU, I'll be able to just stream God tier. But, um, so let me, let me, let me take you back to high school. Let oh, me take God. you back, back in the day. So, I have, uh, it says, I was being cringy in high school, but like, Whoop. that's like a million I wasn't times. hugely cringy in high school, though. The I most was. cringy thing I did was join an anime club. The worst thing I did 
And I was only in there for my girlfriend at the time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, I'll tell you what, though. This one time in tech, because that was like... Oh, God. Ah. Uh, oh, no. Ah. Uh. Um, Sorry, something just come, came back to me. What? And the fact that I was, was in an anime game? club and such, and uh, the video we did for that one teacher... Uh, and I'm in it with the anime club. Oh, the one with the hoodie. Yeah, <laughs> bro, that's all of your. That's fucking. Oh sick. god. Ah oh, god. Um, no, no. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> About high school. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, because during high school, around like tenth or eleventh grade, I joined tech and went to tech, and not. For some reason, we had to go to this stupid marathon thing where these people were basically running around the block. And we, us, having nothing to do with these people, not knowing anything about these people, went cold ass in the morning, walked over to this fucking, like, track and had to cheer on these fucking people. And... We were cheering them on, because that's where we... I'm like, yeah, you can do it, yeah, whatever. Because, like, it was part of your grade. It was so fucking... Move those dumb. cheeks! Move yeah. those cheeks! Right, and this, ah! this ungrateful bitch, this, this bitch, right? She goes, she's running, she's like... She said something, like, fucking nasty as shit. She was like, she was like, fuck you, I don't see you running, whatever. And I'm like, I'm like, fuck you, bitch, I didn't want to be here. <laughs> And really? I, yeah, I I laughed at her fucking dude. She was because she was running. She was like, she was like, I don't. She, she <laughs> fuck just, you, bitch. I don't want to be. She here. was like super out of breath because she was in the marathon or whatever, and she was running. She just sassed me, and I'm just like, fuck you, bitch. None of us want to be here. And <laughs> loud as fuck, she just kept going. I'm like, all right, but but like it was just, how are you gonna tell me? How are you gonna tell? Bitch, I walked more than you. <laughs> like, back then in high school, we like I went on walks, like, 20-mile fucking hikes. I wonder if you can hear me in my leather moving around. You can, 100%, I guarantee you. Like, hang on, let's just have a quiet moment. Put it, put it near you more. Put it I'll near have you. a quiet moment, and I'll just... It's moving. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. That's real nice. Real audio. Oh, we got some jingles in there. What? Oh yeah, the fucking jingles. The 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 ta little fucking my belt on yeah. my jacket jingles. The janky jingles. But you know, high school was weird. I was a very different person in high school. I was like I was fucking weird. That's the best way You're to say. All it. weird. I was yeah, but like I was we were chillins. Ah, chillindrins. I was like weird, man. We were all weird. We were all weird in the end. Uh, I mean, we're still weird, but we're weird, but less we're so adults. We're human. I'm more interactive. I'm more social. I'll tell you to go fuck yourself in a heartbeat if I need to. Like I don't care anymore. Um, but back then, my social anxiety was horrible. Horrible. I was fatter. Fatter. <laughs> don't you fucking start, you slut. <laughs> Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yesterday at work, my ankle started acting up, and let me tell you why. I have this good old construction injury. You wanna know how I got it? Sure. I dislocated my ankle. Oh. Um, cause I fell off of a six foot ladder. I remember that. Yeah. Um, it was not fun. Very not fun. I was going to push something in, and the ladder kind of caved in. Why didn't you have something, like, supporting the ladder? Why didn't you have anything, like, you know... It was one of the, like... Bro, OSHA's gonna come for your ass. Yeah, right, OSHA. It was one of the unfolding ladders, so it had that way, but I needed to push it from the side. Well, it kicked in because, apparently... I guess it wasn't rated for my weight. But oh, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Oh, Wait, no, 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 no. You can't. No, 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 no. Listen. Listen. Oh, Everybody shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> I'm a nut. No, my nut. Fucking. Oh, would you tighten it? <sighs> Here, here's a fucking wrench. and tighten. Ah, thing. my nut. <laughs> No, I'm um, wearing pants that are a little tight around the groin area, so anytime I move, like, my nuts are like, ha! Ah! <laughs> you know? Okay, they just gasp. Well, you never heard of that before? Your nuts gasping for air? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Your nuts never gasp for air? They unzip the fly. <gasps> oh, I got a story for us then when you're done. Um, But basically, it caved in. And my and there's this there's a nice like two by four pile next to me about like two or three foot high. My leg lands inwards and up while I land on the ground, so it just <laughs> ding <laughs> and it just popped it out of place. And for two weeks, I didn't know my 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 foot was dislocated. And um, one day I was hopping because you know I had to limp, and it was my my foot was just swelling up more and more, and I was like, what the fuck. You know, I put heating presses. I did all the stuff. Um, so I hobbled my ass down the stairs. And in the basement, I guess a piece of clothing covered up like an old fishing tackle box. And so because it wasn't floor level and I couldn't see, I kind of like full force put my foot down like normally. And it just, because of the difference in, in level, it just, and it oh. just, it just click. And it, I was like, <gasps> And, and all, I mean, this huge bowl just went down and it felt like a waterfall of blood rushing to my foot. And it was just like, so you, re and you then relocated your foot. I relocated my foot by accident and it was just <laughs> the worst. It was fine. And then this burning sensation of immaculate pain. Just, oh, <laughs> oh my I was God. downstairs leaning on the dryer, dryer like, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> like literally screaming fuck because it hurt that badly. <laughs> it was just That's horrible. Awesome. And now I just have like really bad pain there every now and again. Okay, so my story, speaking of my nut. <laughs> um, oh, is this a torsion? This is the torsion story. Well, like, the not-so-torsion story. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Years and years ago, I had testicular torsion, which is by far one of the worst pains I've ever experienced in my whole damn life. Um, it was all resolved, me. whatever. But um, years down the road, I'm at work. Mm -hmm. And I start to feel this, you know, pain in my like, groin area, and I'm like, oh shit. This could, um... Whoop. This could be that same thing. I went to try to burp. Did you burp for me? Did you just take my burp? <laughs> you just take my fucking burp? No. Um, but... So, I leave work. I tell them, like, hey, I gotta go. And I go to, like, a doctor. I go to, like... We go to the ER because we think that it's torsion again. And if you don't get that shit corrected immediately, you could lose a nut. So... We go. And I'm there. It's whatever. Basically, to tell you, um, I did not have torsion that day. I think it was just like a muscular thing. Mm -hmm. But um, just in case, they had to, they wanted to check the blood flow down there. So they said, okay, let's put you in for an ultrasound and see if there's <laughs> blood flow down there. And I'm like, okay, the babies sure. Down there. So I'm waiting. And they're like, all right, you can come back. I'm like, okay, cool. So I go back mm -hmm. into the ultrasound room, which is like a dimly lit room with like one panel on the roof that's like painted that's, by somebody. That's weird. And um, I'm laying back there and they're like, okay, the nurse will be in with you in just a moment. I'm like, oh, okay, sure. Yep. So, oh <laughs> sorry. This, um, this is the burp cast. This very pretty nurse comes in. Oh. And I uh, just like... Hello, Basically, babe. I had an ultrasound on my nuts. And... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, baby, put that ultrasound on these nuts. It was one of the most awkward things, because, like, one, like, the gel was cold. Oh. So, like, it was cold gel so on my dick nuts. dick shriveled up? No, well, I had to have my dick under a towel, like, I had to, like, throw my dick up, like, Ouch. against, like, my stomach, Ow. and then, like, throw a towel over it so uh -huh. it stayed there. Yeah. So she could freely, you know... Work did, around. The, did you pitch a tent? I did not pitch a tent because okay. I was too I was it was too awkward too for me. I was just yeah, because this very pretty woman is taking a I think machine <laughs> to my nuts. <laughs> and I'm just laying there looking at this artwork on the ceiling like that's real that's real pretty. 
And, like, I don't want to initiate small talk because I'm, like... It's weird. Yeah. Like, so, you come here often? So, uh, <laughs> can you do this after hours? So, uh, how's that look? How's it looking down there? What do you think? <laughs> what Is it you, your what type? You, Is it your type? What would you rate it? No, that's horrible. It um, was one of the most awkward things. If, I was just like, for oh, people, no. I bet you there are people who actually do, like, harass when when that shit's going on like well, the thing, like they like, cat call and it's like how the fuck dude she could chop your balls off she's right she there. literally has you by the balls <laughs> and you're gonna talk like oh my god come on guys. look man if you got some i don't care how pretty the woman is and she has like you if by you want to ask her out how about you do it after in an appropriate yeah. setting you don't ask a woman or cat caller when she has you by the nuts <laughs> like, that's just like, asking to that's miss. the worst place it'll be like um Johnny Cage's fucking X-ray from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, she'll just fucking bring her fist up and fucking balls. smash them, make a nice so- make a nice fucking sauce out of them. Fucking put them on some white rice, serve them up, <laughs> ball sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, baby, what's some of this ball sauce? <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Oh yeah, baby, fucking ball sauce. Oh. That reminds me of the Mortal Kombat movie. Coming yeah. Out. Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know how I feel. I have mixed feelings as well because it looks good, but the movie it looks feel, pretty. It, it's feeling like I got a I got a scent of Hollywood cliche, like Hollywood formula, and I hate that. And I really think they're gonna pull a Godzilla movies when the only thing that gets me run. is that when they. <laughs> my only thing is the design for Scorpion. Ooh. I like it. Scorpion's design is like if you look at it, he's just wearing samurai armor. Like there's nothing. What like, in this? Yeah, he's just wearing samurai armor. Like it's not like it's not anything. ninja class. It's not like detailed. Not like it's not. It's not like a. I thought it was. It's not like a Let scorpion armor from any of the any of the games. He's like just wearing. Well, did you see Sub Zero? Sub Zero looks great. Sub Zero looks awesome. Like hmm. he looks wonderful. It's just fucking scorpion he just looks like a samurai and like you know well let, let's take a look let's take a look here okay so the new one does wow the new one looks a lot different he is just wearing like samurai yeah he's armor. just wearing samurai armor and that's what gets me i'm like okay that's he's not... just wearing samurai shit yeah it'd be like like i get it like they're going for a theme. okay well that's not that's not that's a lot of armor for Scorpion, but that's not as bad as actual samurai armor. No, it's just like, I get what they're going for. They're going with the theme with, like, you know, him being, like, I'm sure they're going to go into the Shira Ryu and, like, his, like, coming I feel up like, whatever, oh my god, like, that would be beautiful! Keanu Reeves is fucking Keanu Reeves fucking as fucking Kenshi would be god tier. That would be pretty good. You can't say no to that. Fuck you. That would be pretty good. That would be fucking awesome. The only thing, another thing that worries me is Reptile. In this movie, it just looks like a lizard man. I if that is Reptile that we're see seeing in the trailer. Reptile. You see this reptilian creature in Mortal. the trailer for like a split second. And I don't think I it's saw just him. a lizard dude. No, like it's just a lizard oh, man. No. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! It's just a lizard I man. I really hope that's not him because he's supposed to be. Oh, you can make no. him like lizardy. You can make him like a cool lizard. You can make him like he was in the fucking yes. game. You can make him like a reptile dude. Yeah, like a humanoid reptile. Fucker. Not just a fucking lizard man, like a like big he's old supposed lizard. to be half ninja, half like creature. He's supposed to be like this. The raptor race. Look, he's supposed to be fucking uh, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's supposed to be Mark Zuckerberg. Get him to play reptile. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that would be perfect. Or, uh, smoking meats got the sweet baby rays. Uh, uh, sweet baby rays. What's uh? Wait, what is uh, it? We got the uh, sweet baby rays. Sweet uh, baby rays. <laughs> uh, Congress. <laughs> <laughs> fucking great I love no it. like but it, it I don't know I want to see him do Baraka that's what I want to see fucking Baraka Baraka Obama Tarkatans Tarkatans oh my god I think they could do Goro's really in this well. Goro? Goro's gonna be in this movie well, is he yeah he looks pretty cool too Where's I mean he looks CG Kintaro, he looks CGI Where's as Kintaro, fuck Kintaro though I don't know dude like, no one ever never, no one never, thinks about nobody Kintaro nobody ever thinks about the cooler one Kintaro's most recent appearance K- has been in a 
Mortal Kombat 11 fatality. Like, See, he's, in, he's one of Shang Tsung's fatalities. I've only seen Kentaro um, in, like, the games. I've never seen him outside or in the movies. And I prefer him over Goro. I don't think Goro's that cool. I think Shiva's badass. She has, like, cool shit. And then fucking Kintaro yeah, we know, is we, literally a tiger yeah, fucking well, monster. We, yeah, well, we we know how you feel about Shiva, so. What? You wouldn't? I mean. She's she's okay. She's decent. I mean, you know. She's not my type per se, but I mean. Oh, you I mean would, you don't dig four-armed dragon women? Do the dragon woman? Yeah, the Shokan race are like dragon people. That's why Kentaro and shit have, like, firepower. I'd get with Shiva if she didn't rip me in half. Shiva. Yeah. I don't judge. I mean, sure. She's, like, eight foot. Oh, sure. Which is, you know. Have you seen her in Mortal Kombat 11? Is that the new? Yeah, it's the newest Aren't they coming out with a new Mortal Kombat? Yeah, it's called a movie. (laughs) Oh, that that was it? (laughs) I don't think they're coming out with a new Mortal Kombat. I think the next one they're going to do, if they do anything, is an Injustice game. Like an Injustice 3. I'm tired of the Injustice shit. I thought it was cool for a while, but, like, the the, 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 the Ben Affleck one is, like, kind of Injustice-y, and I'm... I don't like I, any of the new shit. I just I, feel I, like I think it's kind of injustice should stop it. Injustice two. Injustice was okay, but that storyline, that version of the DC universe, only has so much interest to it. I don't care that much about it personally. I preferred Shiva from the other games. I don't. You like prefer her. from nine? Yeah, nine, nine. I mean, this Shiva ain't bad, but nine's better, in my opinion. MK9, let me see here. MK9. Damn, God. <laughs> okay, we might, have to, we might have to calm down a little bit. <clears throat> oh, God, no. <clears throat> oh, no. no but, He's doing it. About to act up. No, <laughs> um, no, she, no but I, I mean, I think, you know, I couldn't do Melina. It's just scary as fuck. I could do Melina. I, she scares me way too much. I could do Melina. You, you could get with Melina? Yeah. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. The teeth are too fucking scary. Like, I, I would be scared she'd rip my throat out. Also, isn't she cannibal in some sense? Technically. Thing? Yeah, no, fuck that. No. I mean, don't fuck that. Don't fuck that. <laughs> 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 no. Um, But let's be real. Rain's got that... Th- Oh, no. my oh. God. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> lightning. <laughs> lightning McQueen over there. <laughs> ka-chow, ka-chow. Oh, my God. Raven played by Owen Wilson. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> we're having a tournament. We're going to have a tournament. Stop. We're going gonna, gonna to fight for no, Earth Realm. No, wow. you got you to gotta stop. No. <laughs> no wow. Wow. Lightning, ka-chow, ka-chow. <laughs> <laughs> every time, every time he shoots, like he does these. You little... just hear ka-chow, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, No, it's Owen Wilson voicing over the sound effects saying. Oh, it's ka-chow. so it's not. He's not playing Raiden. He's just playing the lightning. He's the lightning. <laughs> <laughs> and you see this little red car go, yeah. <laughs> go through the lightning. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's beautiful. Someone just needs to replace the Raiden's lightning effects <laughs> with just Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen effects. Oh. It's just like the whole car. <laughs> just like <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. That's beautiful. That, that is amazing. All right. What else is on your little notepad there, Cody? So here's something fucked up. You, oh. We're getting into the... Oh. We're getting into the nitty gritty. The nitty gritty titty bitty. Ooh. Whoop. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Whoop. Oh, fuck. Um, oh, fuck. Stop. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Do you need some Jesus? He has knives. <laughs> anyway, what's going on? What are you. So, this is actually going to get fucked up. Oh. I might cut this out. Okay. But there was a guy. <laughs> Before I get into it, full disclosure, um, we take serious topics. A lot more to heart off of the podcast because we make light of a lot of fucked up things that happen in our lives here it is it'll seem a lot more laid back and jokingly but things that are fucked up 
we make light of because that's how you cope with them and that's how we move on from them um it is unfortunate what happened but uh yeah uh, full disclaimer if you know animal abuse is wrong all that stuff it's it's, it's pretty messed up but uh people are shitheads so yeah like a bird <laughs> Go on. There's a you know him, you knew him back in the day. He was a kid uh when we were all kids. Uh we you know, you kind of go through pe- you meet people and then you kind of like drop people. Oh. It starts with T. Oh. Yeah. That one. Curly, yeah. Oh wow. Curly hair. So he uh I'm not going to say names obviously. Oh, bubble in my throat. Give him a name. Give him a name. Just Timon and Pumbaa. No, Timon. Uh, Timon. Timon. We're going to call him Timon. Call him Timon. Uh, Timon decided... Well, what? okay, so here, I'll just tell you what happened to Timon. He ended up joining a gang and getting into drugs and stuff. And Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. Timon seems like the druggy type. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <Pumbaa. laughs> <laughs> he looked bond when he seeked... <laughs> All right. Um, so so Timon. Timon, Timon did not end up gr- as a good person at all. He doesn't surprise me. He was kind a of a person. cuck. He kind of a cuck. Um, so what? Oh, one day, and I think this was the last day I ever spoke to him because this is where the friendship ended. Um, because we were kids, you know, we played Pokemon. We we you know ha- hung out. We uh, I had fake swords or whatever, and there was a fake sword I had. And it had like it was something I don't fucking remember. I think it was part of a Halloween uh, getup. But he came over to my house one day. I heard him giggling, and I was like, "What the fuck is he doing?" Uh-oh. And he's in the stairwell with my dog, and the one dog at the time uh, ran away. Dude, rest in peace. So. Timon was trying to get the dog to suck his dick <laughs> in my stairwell. And so I freaked out and I hit him with the fake sword, which still hurt. It was plastic. Um, so I started hitting him with the fake sword and then he took it from me and hit me with it and I pushed him down the stairs. <laughs> and <laughs> um, Wait, and okay, <laughs> hold on. So his dick is out this his whole time? dick is out, only in the beginning. When he's get, trying to get the dog to suck his dick. You don't get a dog to... That dog's gonna chomp. He's gonna chomp. You should have let it happen. You should have let him just chomp his dick. I stopped it from happening. He, I, I, You I, saved his life. The dog. I think the dog licked it, but that was about it. And that's why I went, he went, hee Because he, was he got his dick licked. He's got his dick licked by a dog. <laughs> and it was disgusting and oh, horrible man. and vile. And I, I, that was it. That was it for him. That was, I was done. I was like, <laughs> don't, you know, get the fuck out of my house. What and we were, fuck? we were kids. We weren't, it wasn't like, oh, I'm an adult. I can drive, I can tell him to get the fuck out. He can Still, drive home. like. We were, we were like, shit, we weren't even middle school. I think it was like intermediate school. Still, like getting a dog it had to, to be, like look at your dick. Yeah, no, that's fucked up. No, uh, so his parents ended up divorcing and his mom kind of went batshit insane oh and that's kind of why he went off the deep end as a kid and uh because he was completely a normal fucking kid when his parents were together his parents had a little bit you know they had normal kid huh they had arguments but essentially um after his parents split and his mom started to go fucking wonkers um that's when the dick dog happened Oh, that's when dog dick happened. Dog dick. Yeah, dog dick happened after the parents to, yeah. uh, decided to go loopy. And his mom was just Well, I mean, crazy. like, my parents were separated and I turned out just Yeah, fine. mine separated when I was fucking three. Mine separated when I was, like, seven. I'm fine. <laughs> but, uh, it does come at a cost. It does come at a great cost. For me, it's the distance. Well, sure. For me, it's, it's... Not being able to see my family, part of my family, for literal years at a time. Yeah, for me it was mental scarring because I felt like I was constantly being pulled between two sides. That's how but it's okay. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's whatever. We're here I now. have, like, a lot of guilt 
because I'm like, okay, well, I have two little brothers and a little sister who never see me. And it hurts. Yeah, well. So. But yeah, no, uh, after that incident, it was bye bye It was out, out the fuck. Like, I, I, to this day, I've never met somebody more fucked up than that kid. Well, yeah. I'm serious. Probably. I don't think I know of anybody who would let a dog suck their dick. <laughs> Looking around, you hide this peanut butter jar back in. <laughs> yeah, put peanut butter jar back in coat. No, yeah, yeah, that's weird, no, right? So, um, this kid was fucked in the head after some shit. But they're like his divorce. That I'm not making an excuse. The divorce is no reason to be that fucked up. Like, no. I'm sorry. Like, that's no. That's no. The that's only really comfort wrong. I can find is in the mouth of a dog. Oh my god. And not even his. He didn't have a dog. It was my dog. Ugh. 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 The dog ran away. <laughs> that's probably why. He I, made me lick his dick. I think. I think. After the dog. After you know, I think after the dog <laughs> dick licking uh, thing, you can go ahead and. <laughs> Should uh, I post this? That's the question. Of course, of course. Dog lick dick, dick lick dog, dog <laughs> dick lick dog. It's not funny. It's not. But we it's have not to, funny. You, when you look back at it's it, kind you of just fucking funny. You, <laughs> you hear it, dude, dude. When I was a little kid, I used to find secret places <laughs> to like. I used to go into my friend's stairwell and fuck his dog. No. <laughs> Like, we all know that kid that would, like, find hiding places to shit himself. Wait, what? You know, like, the little kid. What? Little kid. Like, little, little. When no! You're, like, little. No! Yeah, yeah! What are you yeah, talking, talking about? about? My, my, my nephew does the same thing. Your nephew shits his pants in a corner? No! What? Not now. He used to. What the fuck? Bro, if I'm gonna shit myself, I'm just gonna shit myself. <laughs> you, okay, but think about it when you're, like, a little, little mm. kid, you know? At that point, you're still you don't give just a fuck. You're about to shit yourself. No, 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 because like you would get in trouble for it. So like he he would. I remember one time he was in the stairwell, like top of the stairwell, and I'm leaving, and I'm going to the top of the stairwell. He's just standing there, you know, doing his little. <clears throat> <laughs> and, I'm like, and I'm like, "Hey, buddy, what you doing?" He's just like, "Leave me alone. Go play your games." And I was like, "What?" <laughs> I looked at him. I was like, "What?" Okay, and I went, and I went back to my room. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> leave me alone, go play your games. <laughs> he literally said, leave me alone, go play your games. As a little kid, and I'm like, alright. I can sure. imagine this one foot tall little shit stain saying that, and they go, Ugh, Ugh. Yeah, he's like, see in his face. He's like, he's like straining a little bit, and you're like, you can tell. <laughs> Like, I'm sure me and my brother used to do the same thing when we were little. <laughs> good lord, you good? Oh. Oh my god. I, I think with that, we can do, we can end the podcast. What the fuck? Thank you all for coming and listening. Um, check us out here on YouTube. Uh, links to other channels will be in the description. Um... Okay. Are you good? Can you think? Do you have anything to say to any everybody before we leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Whoop. <laughs> That's not what I want to say. Uh, go check out our other videos. Go check out uh, my channel, Labless. Go check out the people in the description below. They're all streamers, whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you want to support the channel, you can hit subscribe and click the bell icon. Um, oh. I guess that's the only way it works, really. And, uh, Listen yeah. Listen here. If you don't hit that subscribe button and that bell, I will come. And I will come. <laughs> ah. So you heard it here, folks. Uh, you heard it here first, folks. If you want to uh, see Casey's come. No! Uh, wait! <laughs> wait a minute! <laughs> Okay, we need to end this. I'm sorry for how fucked up this podcast. Good night, I'll everybody. Put a, I'll put a little advisory Good night, in the everybody. beginning. I'll put wait, a... wait, wait, wait. I have something more to say. <laughs>